Jungle Camp. Hello everybody, my name's Trinity and I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I've got a lot of updates for everybody. First of all, uh, I have recently begun making and selling my own soap, and it's been really, really fun to do. Um, I'll put a link down below to uh, my Etsy shop where I'm selling soap, so you guys can check it out there. All right, so uh, the first thing is why I have been gone for so long. Um, aside from the normal of being busy and whatnot, uh, really the reason that I haven't made a video in such a long time is because... I felt like there was only so many ways to say the same things over and over and over. Um, and at that particular time period, when I stopped making videos um, during the pandemic, some of that was for my mental health. Um, I have continued, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I've continued every day, you know, keeping everybody up to date on the news. Um, I, I write uh, journal entries online that anybody can look at about what it's been like to work um, on the archiving project, archiving the history of the pandemic. <laughs> You're gonna have to not mind my kitty cat. Mr. Loki wants to be in the video, I think. I was angry, I was frustrated, um, and that was really, at the time, coming out in everything that I did. And once I sort of became aware of it, I did not want that to be what I was putting out to everybody. and. I kind of tried to suppress it at the time, but I realized that was not something I could suppress and I had to just kind of work through. Um, so that is why I did not make a video for such a long time. Um, so that leads right into, well, why am I making a video now? Um, I think it's important to make a video now. Um, all of my early work had been focused on preventing what has currently happened, what is currently happening. Ugh. All of my uh, earlier work had been trying to prevent what is currently happening now. Um, I think that anybody that was paying attention could see that it was not only possible to go here, but that it was going to go here. We worked really hard from doctors down to social media influencers down to, you know, everyday citizens wearing their masks, staying home whenever possible, trying to prevent this uh, total saturation of infection all throughout the country, um, but it didn't work. There were not enough people cooperating. There were too many people who were actively going out of their way to sabotage those efforts. And now we are looking at having two to 3,000 people dying per day right now, um, watching the daily infections Across 200,000. We actually had a day this week that hit 234,000 new infections in a single day. So we know that what we're looking at right now is actually going to get worse. It's not going to get better for some time. And I think that it's important to acknowledge that. And I think it's important for me to start kind of expressing um, what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling about it as it's going on. Uh, to kind of catch my thoughts as they happen. So, that's why I'm back. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about in this video is very personal. And again, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably are aware of it. Um, I've kind of alluded to in the past that I have a very uh, problematic living situation. Um, we wound up purchasing this mobile home from a family member of my husband. And when we moved in, we found out that it was not in the condition that it had previously been in when the last time we'd been in the house had been. There was water damage, there were holes in the walls, all the doors had been ripped off, the hinges, um, all the appliances were gone, the, the cupboards were ripped out of the kitchen. Like, it was horrible. Um, when I first walked in to this place after we bought it, I sat in the middle of the floor and cried for probably two hours. Um, but that's kind of the situation that happens when you're broke. The problem is we have been trying to kind of patch fix the house, um, but it's hit a point where we can't stay here anymore. 
Uh, we're in Vermont. The winters here are very cold. It hasn't gotten nearly as cold as it's going to get for the winter, and it is very cold in here. Very, very cold. Um, I've got a couple of space heaters going to kind of keep me warm enough to do the video here, but I am definitely cold. There is no central furnace that functions here, so we're running off of electrical heaters, and there's problems with the electricity here. So we have to be very careful with that so that we don't wind up starting a fire. Point is, it's not safe. Um, we are in the process of trying to actually buy a house. Um, so that is something that's been, uh, aside from the difficult stuff, really wonderful. I have a GoFundMe set up, and some very wonderful people have been helping to get us the money that we need for the down payment for a house. And at this point, when I started saving up money to do this, I was between six and eight thousand dollars short. And now I am only about eight hundred to a thousand dollars short between the stuff that I've been selling and money we've managed to save and donations from people. We've only got about eight hundred to a thousand more to go. So that has been really amazing and really positive. Um, I'll put a link to all the stuff down in the description below. And if you guys want to share the GoFundMe, that would be really helpful. Uh, I appreciate it. Searching for a house has been um, stressful and not easy. We are a family with not a lot of money. And as many of you know, I am currently out of work. Uh, I'm high risk. I have an autoimmune disorder asthma, and a heart condition. So for shielding purposes, I was ordered out of work to stay home. So I can't be on the loan application and it has to go strictly off my husband's income because right now all I have coming in is $167 a week in unemployment. Um, so we're really trying to A, be fiscally responsible and B, um, very limited in the price range of the houses we can look at. Um, the problem being is that houses in the lower price bracket a lot of times have such problems that the bank is unwilling to finance them. We've looked at several houses that we liked, but the bank couldn't finance them. So this week we sat down with our realtor and made the decision to up our price range. Um, we've got five houses on a list that we're going to be hopefully seeing within the next week. And we really, 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 really hope that one of them is going to be the house that we can get into and that if we're very lucky we will be out of this place before the really nasty cold snaps that show up in January and February here in Vermont. So that's cross our fingers on that. I'm gonna try to um, make more videos and talk a bit more about the pandemic, talk a bit more about the current events, talk a bit more about how we got into this situation that we're currently in where we are seeing you know, two, 3,000 people dying a day. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I just want to thank you guys for going through this journey with me. And like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.